2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. That's a look at our setting tonight. The picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Jay Crump. And it's Paul in at the 1. And for the Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the center position. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Paul with the ball. Booker in the corner. Down low, Aiton. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Well, that's the court awareness of Mr. Devin Booker. This guy increasingly becoming such a good passer. Now, on to Kumbo. Pass to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. And he overshot that one, missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Bridges shot. Good. Boy, you have to be aggressive powering through contact. Mikel Bridges, no signs of backing away. Onto Takumbo, passes to Middleton. At the honest. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. That one doesn't drop. So Phoenix will take it the other way. We're excited about the win on Thursday. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Here's Middleton after the made shot from Jay Crowder. Holiday, no one around him. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. And Aiton throws it down. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Now, here's Adi Kumbo to the inside, and Lopez throws it down. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Got that bucket. How about the effort? You did think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? Paul passes the book. Got the ball. The kick out to Crowder. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so it's Milwaukee now. Bucks trail by seven. To the paint. And stolen by Eaton. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Paul with the three. Here's Bridges. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, you can see the confidence that Mikel Bridges has in himself. This guy's going to take pride in going up strong, forcing the issue, and getting himself to the foul line. The Sun shooting their first free throws of the evening. Shoot two. And 
that one falls for Bridges. After winning two championships in college at Villanova before turning pro, I think Mikel Bridges has the next championship in his sights. That's an NBA title. Both shots good from a strike. Bucks trail by nine. Now here is Holiday. There's the triple. He's now one for two with that bucket. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4, he can get his shot off against just about anybody. Now here's Paul. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pope loose. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Three-pointer. And another three for Milwaukee. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Inside, Bridges. No good on that one. Good D by Lopez. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by three. Back to Holiday over Paul. Holiday with another miss. Suns have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. And there's Bridges on the assist by Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Milwaukee has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Ball against Holland. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Feeds it to Lopez. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, if you allow Lopez to get that kind of touch, it's really hard to guard the seven-footer without fouling him. This is his first chance at the line tonight. At the line for two. And he makes the first. Well, Brooke Lopez, such a versatile scorer. He's got great low post moves. He can also step away and face up and make jump shots. Very difficult bind for the defenders. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Brooke Lopez hits them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Monty Williams. I asked him about their commanding position in this series, and he seemed only mildly happy with the first two wins. He said, we took care of business at home like we were supposed to, but on the road, the environment will be much different. Of course, it's not a series until someone loses at home, and it feels like that's probably going to be true in this year's finals. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Milwaukee shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That's good from Tucker. So make no mistake, guys. One of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And the Suns making a change here as well. Craig's checked in. He makes one of two that time. To the middle. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. Well, whether it's a dunk or a jump shot, Booker's wide-ranging skills make him a consistent scoring threat. And Holiday kicks to Forbes. Shoots the three. 
Milwaukee keeping it alive. The new 14. Holiday with the three. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. And good that time. Well, that's an unselfish player who definitely wants to get his teammates involved. A willing passer there, Booker. Here's Holiday. Nine points in the game so far. Tucker finds Holiday. Here's Craig. Payne looking around. That's good from Booker on the assist from Payne. How about the ability to adjust and finish in different situations? Devin Booker elite as a scorer. Pass to Connington. He dishes it to Tucker. Phoenix grabs the miss. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Bucks trail by nine. Inside, here's Tucker. It's stolen by Sharks. And now the Suns, a fast break. Booker with no one around. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Portis, the pass to Holiday. Tucker with the ball. Johnson on him. Outside Holiday. Trains it from beyond the arc. Holiday's got 12 points in the game. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Here's Sharich. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. A nice shot by Booker. And the Suns lead by eight. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Sun's making a change here. Bridges checks in. Bucks trail by eight. Holiday goes in. Puts it up from 15. And he nails the jumper. That's a really good job by Tucker reading the defense. Just carving out some space from mid-range. Here's Booker. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Boy, he's heating up fast. 
splash coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. The Bucs have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. And Holiday kicks to Connaughton. Here is Forbes, defended by Booker. Fires for three. And no good. Now the Suns take it the other way. And here is Bridges. He's got nine. Johnson outside. Three-pointer. Milwaukee with the rebound. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Tucker the pass to Fortis. And the shot is good. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Payne on the pass to Sharich. On the wing, Booker. And they pick up two. And ten of their last 12 coming off assists. Bucks trail by eight. Outside Holiday, pass to Connaughton. 16 feet away, moves back up. The shot by Holiday, no good. Just doing the job on the backboard. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks, and a change for the Suns. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Booker. Suns lean by eight. Paul looking over the floor. Teardrop shot. Payne with it. Picked up by Portis. Takes the 13-footer. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. For Phoenix, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Anas Antetokounmpo's check in for Milwaukee. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Pat Connaughton. And the Suns also making a change. Jay Crowder's checked in for Johnson. And that one falls for Paul. Well, you think over the course of Chris Paul's career, he will have had a 10-year stretch where he was the best point guard in the league. But perhaps the value of his leadership qualities will be the thing he's most remembered for. Competitive spirit, pushing his team to the next level. What a career. Onto the Kumbo. No good. Here's Payne. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. The Suns on top, up by 11. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. comes to the art of providing leadership, CP3 had this to say. The guys on the team already tell me I talk too much a lot. You know, I'm, I'm constantly talking on the court, just I'm a communicator and I feel like um, it's hard to go wrong when you're communicating. Well said, he does a great job of keeping everyone involved and on the same page. And, and Kevin, he practices what he preaches. He plays the right way and motivates his teammates to do the same. And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And for the Suns, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area. And boy, is it paying dividends. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Then there's Bobby Portis, 
Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Forbes in at the point. On to Takumbo with the bucket. So strong. Giannis has really added some ball since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Paul. He can't get it to go. And Milwaukee the other way now. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Portis kicks to Middleton. Launches it. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And this is what Middleton does. Hit trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You'd love to see that kind of effort. Here's DiVincenzo. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Giannis passes to Portis. You can see the evolution of Giannis as a passer. He's gotten good at thinking for himself and his teammates. Suns lean by six. Paul with the ball. He's got five. Crowder with it. Picked up by Portis. Crowder kicks to Bridges. Four on the shot clock. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, you cannot let Mikhail Bridges get into the paint because he's going to hammer it home when you do. Even Chenzo passes to Forbes. From deep three-point range, and it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul called on the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, they're playing with fire, putting Mikkel Bridges on the free throw line. This guy's so comfortable at the charity strike. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. And Phoenix also making a switch. Booker's checked in. Both free throws good from Bridges. Here's Ante Tacumbo. Order number two, around three minutes gone by. Passes it to Forbes. Now Middleton. Ante Tacumbo with the ball. Chris Paul covering. Giannis kicks to Forbes. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got three assists now in this one. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now here's Paul. Five points in the game. Now Bridges. This is to Crowder. Here's Paul. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's Giannis. Here's Forbes. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. Now here's Booker. He's got 10. No good with the elbow jump. Here's DiVincenzo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Chris Paul picks up that one. The Bucs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The 
first free throw is good. And the Bucks with some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Drew Holiday in for Brent Forbes. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. And he makes both free throws. Now here's Booker. Shoots off the step back. Drain for two points. Booker's got 12 points in the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Now here is Holiday. He's got 12. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the chart. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Booker outside. From outside, off the mark. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Even Chenzo passes to Middleton. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Here's Crowder. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Lopez inside. He's covered by Aiton. To the paint. Here's Crowder. That one doesn't go. Bucks trail by four. Here's Holiday at basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Well, that leadership from Lopez wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. That's it go. And it's Paul missing. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Out of this is to Booker. Booker draws the double. Here's Johnson, and Johnson with the stuff. The always aware Chris Paul, one of the great passers in history. There's another assist. Timeout called the Bucks, And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. change here. Connaughton's checked in. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. Bucks trail by four. Outside Holiday. Sharch grabs the board. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Here's Booker. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on Holiday. Yeah, Booker understands how to navigate his way to the paint, and he's not going to shy away from contact. Nicely done to pick up the foul. Shoot two. The first one falls. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Both free throws good from Booker. 
Well, I think we know that Devin Booker is known for his shooting, but to me, guys, there's also the passing and the rebounding aspect that comes into play with him. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Buries the long-range jumper. Middleton's got six here in this quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Ball against Holiday. Booker looking around. Count that one. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now here is Holiday. 16 points for him. Lopez gets to Middleton. That three off the mark. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Count that one. Booker's got 18 points in the game. Well, you love the lethal scoring ability off the dribble. Booker putting extraordinary pressure on the defense. Tucker dishes to Holiday. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Suns lean by five. Paul kicks to Booker. Ball against Holiday. Pass to Aiton. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. The Suns making a switch here. Gaines checked in. Now here is Holiday. He's got 18. Here's Middleton. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now just a three-point Suns lead. And with great positional size, Milton knows how to do damage down low. We've got 123 left to play in the first half. To Payne. Six to shoot. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Off the left rim and out. Suns lead by three. Johnson surveying the floor. On the wing, Johnson. From 17 feet out. Tipped away. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now here's Lopez. Middleton can't get it to go. Here's Booker. From down in the low post, it goes. Booker's got 10 points in the quarter. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And really, from second round pick, to all-star. Milton's story, inspirational. Yet even now, it feels like some people continue to sleep on him. This is his first free throw of the game. And that one falls for Middleton. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. And the Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis comes in for Brook Lopez. And Ana Tacumbo subbed in for P.J. Tucker. And the Suns also making a change. Bridges checks in. Middleton hits them both. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. Well, this guy is an explosive offensive talent. When Devin Booker's cooking, my goodness. Outside Holiday. Middleton on the wing. Here's Cunnington. And he beats the buzzer. Wow! Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. Great awareness in crucial situations. Nicely done. 
And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're over shifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. Welcome to our postseason halftime show. Ernie Johnson along with the Diesel and the Jet. Well, for the Suns, they came in with a 2-0 series lead, yet still played with a real sense of urgency on both ends of the floor. That's the kind of focus and commitment that wins you championships. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? Well, they should have a lot of room on the perimeter in the second half because they've already had a lot of points in the paint. And the D will have no choice but to collapse and try to put it in on that end. So, if you want to use the three-point shot more, they'll have the space to do it. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. back with you all set to bring you more action from game three you know guys Devin Booker has been exceptional here he had a fast pass to the lane that first half got inside on demand now this guy is such a good finisher on the move and so far the defense has not been able to counter it and after a fairly even first couple of quarters the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge Setting the floor for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the one. A three for DiVincenzo. Booker pulls it in. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Well, I'll tell you, the savviness of Chris Paul on the break, he is a force to be reckoned with. Here's DiVincenzo following the basket by Chris Paul. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Devin Booker. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Lays it up off the glass. Paul's got nine. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Second half rolling along now. About a minute play here. Gets it down to Middleton, and Lopez has it in the corner. Five to shoot. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. And that's now seven points for Brook Lopez. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. The pass to Middleton for the lead. 
Milwaukee the rebound. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Outside Holiday, he watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Down low, Lopez with the steal. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. The shot's good. Steven Genzo's got the lead up to four now for Milwaukee. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this cover. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. The shot's good from Paul. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Here's Holiday. He's got 21. Paul with the steal. Crowder inside. And to the Kumbos there. The Bucks have gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And onto the Kumbo, slams it in. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. And the Suns call time. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. And he is absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes. Let's see who's the He's checked in for Milwaukee. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Here's Paul, drilled from 11 feet out. And it's 13 points for Chris Paul. You can see it. He's taking better shots, and the results are coming because of it. Crowder against Giannis. Here's Forbes. Off target from outside. For Phoenix, they've gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. They get it back. Booker finds Bridges. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his seventh assist here tonight. You've got to be aware and stay attached to Mikel Bridges beyond that arc. This guy dangerous as a shooter. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's got eight. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. To the inside. Crowder. And Crowder. Climbs it in. Boy, I love the strong finish from Jay Crowder. He doesn't settle on the layup. Demonstrates his impressive vertical. And here is Adi Kumbo. He's got six to end the run. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Adi Kumbo has got four points now in the quarter. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around. Hooker the pass to Crump. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block force them to the line. For Milwaukee, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. He hits the second from the line. 
Boy, the missed free throw there, keeping this game at even. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. To the paint. No good that time. Some solid defense from Kumbo. Bridges against Middleton. Pass to Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here's Paul. 13 points in the game. And that one, good. Paul's got it all tied up now for the Suns. Well, Chris Paul, when he feels like he can get his jumper going, he's going to it. There's such confidence in that shot. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. with some changes. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Holiday in for Bryn Forbes. And for the Suns, Johnson, he's checked in for Sharich. And it's Payne in for Devin Booker. Now here is Holiday. 21 points in the game. To the middle. On his 15th shot attempt, he makes his ninth basket. Shooting a healthy 60% tonight. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Here's Johnson. Misses the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Holiday against Paul. Middleton looking it over. Outside Holiday. Off target from three point range. Now here's Payne, defended by DiVincenzo. Call for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Down low and taken away by Johnson. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Payne. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Phoenix Suns. Passes to Booker. It's good. Well, that's the bread, the butter, the main course. Booker's move in the catch and shoot money. The Bucks have gone seven of twelve from the floor since coming out of the break. Right side, Portis. Pass to DiVincenzo. team on holiday shot clock at six and DiVincenzo is good for three DiVincenzo's got eight here in the quarter savvy play from holiday quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man and he gets it to go as they call the foul he's on his way to the line for one more and, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game the Suns have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. The pass to Middleton. A three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got five assists tonight. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Now here's Paul. He's got 15. 
shoots over DiVincenzo. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Chris Paul. Timeout called the Bucks. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday looking for an opening. Pass to DiVincenzo. And another three for Milwaukee. Their third three-pointer in a row. Phoenix has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Ball passes to Johnson. 